Okay, here uh, now in this lecture, we are going to be here talking about the SSM parameter store. So SSM parameter store, so this is to securely store your configuration and uh, secrets in AWS and you can have optional encryption with KMS. So you can store your secrets, have them KMS encrypted directly from within the SSM parameter store. So it is a serverless service and uh, it's a scalable and durable and the SDK is uh, super easy and uh, super easy to use and I would use it any anytime uh, you need to encrypt secrets for example you have a versioning of your configuration and secrets so all your security for your configuration management is done using the path and the IAM policies you can get a notification from the CloudWatch event in events integration with cloud formation to uh, policy parameters uh, uh, to uh, policy parameters and so it's a very complete service and as we will see in the hands-on, so as we will see in the hands-on, so at the most of its core, so we have the application and they have, for example, a parameter stored in the parameter store. So it could be a plain text configuration, in which case if we request that configuration, then the parameter store will check with IAM permission to make sure that we can get them and then return them to us or we can also ask for encrypted configurations uh, in which case the parameter store will also ask with IAM but on top of it check the case uh, uh, but, but on top of it check the KMS permissions and if so we'll call the decrypt API from the KMS service to give you the uh, decrypted secret so and the one that is being hidden that is that is the AWS KMS from me so don't worry about that you will be having the slide so now, so now here is a way to store your parameters in your parameter store. So like uh, you, so you can create a hierarchy. Uh, for example, my department underneath my app, and uh, underneath of that my app, then your dev requirements, then the name of your config. For example, the DB URL, and another maybe maybe another secret, the DB password, and then maybe you have the dev environment. So you would also have the production environment uh, with the uh, name, with the same DB URL, DB password, config, and secrets. Then if you have another application, then you could create another application in the hierarchy and other department and so on. So it's like, it's sort of like a folder structure uh, that you know, for example, like a file system. And then you are also able uh, using this parameter store to reference secrets from the secrets manager as we'll see so and you are also able to reference parameters directly from aws for example the last one here allows you to retrieve the latest ami id latest am ami id uh, for amazon linux 2 uh, from aws uh, this is very very handy uh, uh, and so if you have ever learned the function and it wants to access your dev parameters and you would set an environment variable and then you will end the function uh, with you know, get your parameters or get them by path and retrieve them and if you have a production a production environment prod in the function with uh, another environment variable then it would retrieve automatically the production values and so this is how we could use for example lambda and the parameter store so uh, we have two tiers of parameters in the parameter stores. We have the standard tier and the advanced tier. Uh, the standard tier is going to be free. Uh, the advanced tiers is going to be paid. And so for the standard tier, you have up to 10,000 parameters per account, and uh, which is a large amount of parameters. So the maximum size is four kilobytes and uh, you don't have the parameter policies available. And uh, we'll see in the next lecture, if you are using the advanced tier, then you can um, actually grow up, up to the 100,000 parameters. Uh, they can be up to the 8 kilobytes, so double from the standard tier, 4 kilobyte, 8 kilobyte. And you do get parameter policies here, and you do have to pay for your parameters. So I have a feeling that the exam is going to ask you to choose between the standard and advanced tiers for parameter store. But it's good to know that uh, it's good to know uh, as you when you go into the concept that uh, advanced tier and the standard tier comparisons. So, so what are these parameters policy? 
so they are only for advanced parameters and they allow you for example to assign a ttl time to live uh, so a time to live to a parameter uh, which effectively creates an expiration date and the idea behind this is to force updating or deleting sensitive data such as passwords in your parameter store and you can assign multiple policies at a time to a parameter so here are like three examples have been given uh, the first one is the expiration to delete a parameter so in this example i'm going to say hey my parameter expires in december 2020 uh, then we have an expiration notification uh, so you are saying hey uh, this one uh, send me a notification through cloudwatch events 15 days prior to uh, 15 days before the expiration happens and here is a no change notification so this is saying if my parameter hasn't changed in 20 days then send me a notification through cloudwatch events so this is a kind of policy you can attach to your advanced uh, parameters to trigger some sort of the automation and to force yourself to change them quite often. So that's it for the parameter store and uh, I hope you liked it and in the next lecture we will get some practice to like make it a bit more real.